everybody and welcome back to another vlog so today uh, I have been waiting months to make this video so in today's vlog we are going to be planning my 2022 balcony garden and I am so so excited I've been looking forward to this since last fall honestly so this year we are hoping to kind of expand our garden a little bit use this space maybe a little bit more efficiently so that we can really pack as much as we can into this space it is a pretty big balcony i will say and we just want to make the most of it so we've already done a little bit of work on our balcony so far this spring when we moved into this flat like a year ago a year and a half ago we had a really bad pigeon problem because they would always what do you call it like nest in the corner of our balcony because it was under the roof line very sheltered there so last summer we just hung up some like old cds and when it caught the sun the cds would reflect and kind of spook them away so they weren't really a big problem last summer but then this last fall and winter they have come back even stronger and i think they just got used to our old techniques of scaring them so we did end up buying some of those pigeon spikes which just makes it so that they're not they don't like land and sit down i guess and since doing that we haven't had any pigeon problems which is great because they made such a mess this last winter we were also fortunate because we were able to clean up that mess we got a garden hose this last winter and we got an attachment for it so we can connect it directly to our kitchen sink which is great that's awesome and we got another like spray nozzle which has different settings so there is one that's more of like power washer kind of setting and we were able to use that to really clean up the mess which is awesome it's much nicer out there right now so let me take you guys out to our balcony so that we can look at what we're working with so if you haven't seen last year's video of my balcony transformation, make sure you go and look at that. I'll link it in the description. Holy cow, what is happening outside? My goodness. Helicopter. Okay, so we walk outside. These are new. We got them from a family member. We will put them to very good use. We still have our... <laughs> uh, needleless Christmas tree, which we are going to try and repurpose into a support we have our blueberry bush our climbing roses but this really needs to get cleaned up here we have our little outdoor sofa here is the pot we had for our climbing peas last year we have an assortment of pots <laughs> this is an experiment i don't know if it's going to work or not but we had a sprouting onion and i just plunked it in some soil i do take it in at night time but we're gonna try and just see what happens. We have all this. This was where our tomatoes were last year. This is our new garden hose. This guy just came up. It's a spinach, which we planted in the fall. And I didn't think it was gonna come up, but it did. So we ended up planting some more spinach just in this little area. This is our little cucumber trellis that we made last year. Then we have another garden bed. So this is the spot where the pigeons were like really bad and we cleaned it up as much as we could. We might have to do it again, but we just put these spikes on this little ledge. So it's looking a little rough right now, you know, it's still springtime. We haven't like really started doing anything except for cleaning up after those darn pigeons. I have some pretty intense goals for the balcony this year. I don't know if we're actually gonna be able to do those things but we can dream and we can try them so one thing that i think would just be sick it would be so cool is if we made kind of like an archway or what is it called like a pergola is that what it's called and then that would be like a trellis for like beans and cucumbers i think that would just be so cool and i want to try and condense like the vegetable side of the balcony a little bit more so then we have a little bit more free space on the side with the sofa and then we can put more stuff 
here. I would really love to fit like a little tiny outdoor table and a chair or two. I think that would be really nice so that we can actually like sit down and eat outside because we just have the love seat outside and that's okay but it would be kind of nice to have a little table. So opening up our uh, like outdoor sofa cover we discovered a slightly unpleasant discovery. <laughs> what am I trying to say? When we opened it up, we saw that there was something on the sofa, like here and also like down there on the bottom, a little bit on the edges too. We're not totally sure what it is. It might be mold. If it is mold, I did spray it with some uh, vinegar that's gonna kill the mold and then I rubbed some baking soda into it which should lift the stains so we're just gonna let that sit for at least an hour let it dry let it sit in the Sun I'll vacuum up the baking soda that's on it right now and that should lift the stain out of it we can repeat that however many times we want to this is a method that I have used before and I think it does work pretty well so we will have to wait and see on that one. But no matter what, if it's mold, the vinegar kills the mold. So that's okay. Let me show you some of the rearranging that we want to do in our balcony to try and make the most of our space. We were thinking of putting this down there to save space. And then we can have some free space here for those pots to go. It is a little difficult to navigate with all this stuff though because our railing, is it a railing? So because of the railing, it's totally solid and we can't really put any pots directly against it otherwise they're not going to get in as much light. So that's kind of why we've put everything against the house and we haven't really put anything against the railing but I think I'm going to try and put that little black shelf thing against the railing and we'll just put plants on top of it and then use the bottom half for like storage or something um and then it will really clear up that whole space for us to put those other pots there and then clean up that little corner of the balcony we're taking a cereal break so dearest what do you want in the garden this year so considering that i can take varieties i want some black tomatoes I want some yellow tomatoes, I want some spinach, and, hmm, well, cabbage. Cabbage? I would like to have some cabbage. <laughs> okay, I guess we're going to try and grow a cabbage this year. Are we going to grow one as big as, as big as your head? <laughs> <laughs> So this is the raised garden bed that we had all of our tomatoes in last year and we kind of built this structure. There is so much traffic today. But the problem is, is that our tomatoes literally went all the way up and they got too tall so they actually were growing like down again. So we're going to have to change this for now. We're just going to get rid of these because they're not working. So this year our plan with the tomato support is we might have to lower the bed a little bit like cut off the legs and then sorry lab truck and then we're going to build this support a lot taller so it goes up all the way to the roof and then these strings are going to be going down like this and then um, I'll like insert a picture of what it looks like, but then you kind of wrap the string around the tomato plant, around the tomato plant, and it holds it up a lot better. So we're gonna try that, but we do need to like build a taller support then. 
So here, because it has this thing, um, this is really nice and shaded and it gets really hot out here. So we were thinking of trying to clear this area for a little table and a couple chairs, potentially. And then we walk this way. This whole area is just with these raised garden beds and there has to be some space in between them. We can't cram them too much because like last year we planted zucchinis in here and they grew out so much because they're so big. So we needed to leave some space in between but we're thinking that maybe like here on this side by the rail we're going to put something else. Okay, so we just got this little area cleaned up a bit beside the sofa and we're gonna put the rose bush here and the blueberry bush and then we moved the pea uh, pot and stand into that corner so it's kind of more with the vegetables beautiful so uh, let me show you guys all of our seeds that we have collected so here is the magical cabinet where we have all of my favorite things and here on the bottom are all of our seeds. <laughs> all right, so I think I need to take a step back. We cleaned up the balcony. It looks a lot better. We also moved some pots around so we have some more space in some areas. I need to make a master plan, a list of all the things that I want to plant this year and separate seeds that I still need to buy and seeds that I already have. So let's start with the smallest category, which is going to be flowers. I do want to grow some flowers this year. The only pack of seeds that we do have is just this mix that we got from the grocery store. Another thing that I would really like to grow this year is some dahlias. Just probably one plant because I think they get pretty big. I'll just have one pot of dahlias and then also ranunculas or ranunculin in German. And then as far as vegetables go, it really just depends on how much space we have. I'm gonna make a list of the things that I would like to grow and we'll have to see later how much of that I can actually grow. So I have a little basket of all the vegetable seeds that I'm gonna try. Sugar peas, purple carrots, red peppers, cherry tomatoes, yellow zucchinis, basil, and um, rucola, or arugula, or rocket, wherever you come from. Those are the things that we do have. Now we get to dream about what we would like. One thing I know for sure are cucumbers. We want to grow beans, like a climbing beans. I don't know what variety yet. Probably like the French Harriet. So we need to get some more assortment of tomato seeds. I would. I would really love to grow some yellow tomatoes and some like really deep, dark, rich colored tomatoes. My husband said he wants to try and grow cabbage. I think we will designate one pot to try and grow a single cabbage this year. I mean, that's fun. We can do that. What else? I had a list going. Let me just try and find that. Oh, okay. Two other herbs that I would really like to grow this year are sage and rosemary because I really like cooking with those. I need to do some more research on how to grow sage and all, I mean also rosemary, like what their companion plants are. For basil, it's really easy because we have our, our big raised garden bed with tomatoes in it and then just like in between them, we can plant basil because those are really well-known companion plants that work well together. Okay, let me do a bit of mental calculating to see how much room we have. We still need to get cucumber seeds, climbing beans, yellow tomatoes, black tomatoes, cabbage, and I'll probably just buy 
like an actual plant of sage and rosemary and then plant it out. And then dahlias and ranunculin. We need to order the dahlias and ranunculin earlier. Like we'll probably order those today. They're typically planted before the last frost, I think. There's so much to ponder at this time. I'm gonna try and do this quickly because our neighbor is getting a new kitchen today. They're kind of working on and off. So it's been a few days since we cleaned up the balcony and went shopping for the seeds and holy crow, we scored big time at the garden center. I am so excited. My dream is coming true. So first things first, we found some latticing and oh, it was perfect. So we got three pieces of it and we're gonna build like a little frame and it's gonna go right on top of our little love seat outside. And then we're gonna be planting some cucumbers and some string beans and they're gonna grow up it. And yeah, wow, that's just gonna look so awesome. I'm so excited. And the other really big thing that I'm so happy we found is I got my dahlia tubers or Daily at Zwiebel, and even in the exact color, the exact variety that I wanted, they're these ones. They're the Cafe O Latte color, and they're like a beigey, pinky, like dusty rose color, and I'm so excited for them. And then we also got these, all of these seeds. So first we got cucumbers, string beans, this is just like a salad mix. Nugget tomatoes. My husband wanted these because they're supposed to be really sweet tomatoes. Black cherry tomatoes. Honestly, just because it's cool. And then we got another variety of zucchini. So these ones are striped zucchinis. And that's everything that we're going to be doing for now. Probably in a month or so, we are going to be planting the seeds and starting to take them out and Oh boy, I am so excited. Mm, it's gonna be a good year for gardening, I can tell. I can tell, it's gonna be a great year. So if you guys like this vlog, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also consider subscribing to my channel. Oh, see now they're working again. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.